According to auto insurance industry experts, the average driver will have four crashes in their life. So please understand we're not dealing with if you will be in a crash, we're dealing with when you will be in a crash. Rollovers are the most common type of fatal crashes in Wyoming. So it is important to know what happens in a crash and how to protect yourself and your family. For those that have been following our virtual traffic safety sessions, you will remember that physics play a huge role in the importance of seatbelts. For those of you who haven't been following, let's talk about crash force dynamics real quick so you can be caught up to speed. It's a very simple equation. You just take your weight and multiply it by the speed you are traveling. For example, for those who only weigh 100 pounds and are driving 60 miles per hour, you would multiply 100 times 60. The answer is how much force you are traveling with. In this instance, you are traveling with 6,000 pounds of force. If you are not buckled, you become a projectile crashing into your passengers. The best visual I can try to give you to help you understand what an unbuckled passenger is in a crash is a brick in a dryer. Seatbelts in child passenger safety seats affect children when not used or installed properly. Wyoming law states that children up to nine years old must use a child car seat and ride in the back seat of the vehicle. If your child is under the age of nine years old and riding in the front seat when there are seats available in the back, you may be held liable for child endangerment if your child is hurt in a crash. And even though the law states we must do this until the age of nine, the safest place for your child is the back seat up to the age of 13 years old. Last safety session, we learned that nearly two thirds of Wyoming roadway fatalities were unbuckled. Many would be here with us today if they were wearing a seatbelt. Your child's best defense against a drunk driver is their seatbelt. And your best defense is your seatbelt as well. Wyoming still ranks among the very worst in the nation for drunk driving meaning we have more drunk drivers per capita than any other state in the country. Nationally, there were 36,120 roadway deaths last year. 147 of those were in Wyoming. Many of them would still be alive today if they had worn their seatbelts. So it's natural to say you and your child's best offense in a crash is your seatbelt. Please don't become another statistic this has been Noel Cooper with Injury Prevention Resources asking for simple things. Wear a seatbelt, pay attention, and drive sober. Think about our lives, and as they say, don't go down that road. Thank you for watching our virtual traffic safety session. There's many more to come.